It is finally time. It has arrived. It is here. It is the great American Bash. The last SmackDown Live exclusive pay-per-view before SummerSlam. And tonight is the final night for these superstars. All the night. All nine great matches tonight. They're they gotta win tonight. They must win tonight to solidify their chances on being on the card for SummerSlam, on having a match at SummerSlam, being there. This is big. You're going to win tonight. You definitely put yourself in the favor of of Shane McMahon and Shawn Michaels, telling them this, this is why I belong on the night where Raw and SmackDown come together and put on a hell of a show. But tonight, the great American Bash is going to do just that. As it's going to start off with two former world champions going face to face. Two former world champions here in universe mode. And this is the gold standard, Shelton Benjamin. A former world champion, a man who's walked into WrestleMania, defended his championship in a fatal four-way. He won that matchup at WrestleMania, at our first WrestleMania that we had in our universe mode. The man walked out in as a champion, as the world champion walked out as the champion. And the man rocking this gold standard shirt. And then I guess, I guess this is a big surprise. Shelton let us know on his Twitter that the man had a big surprise and the man has joined MVP's Hurt business and, and MVP said this very clear. He's not signed an exclusive contract with ECW. He is scouting town everywhere and expanding his business in her horizons. And it looks like uh, Kevin Owens, a man who is an ECW exclusive superstar after tonight, is about to face one of MVP's men. As this is Benjamin and Kevin Owens, all because Kevin Owens says, I'm going to go out, I'm going to leave SmackDown Live. A place that didn't respect my true talents. Never gave me a singles rematch for the WWE Championship. And remember, Owens lost that title to Roman Reigns in a uh, match. I, he will tell you it was never him that he lost that title. And he did He did it. That's that's true. But again, you lose something. That's the, that's what you get when you get into a matchup like that. You lose it and you, and you have to win it. The only way to do it, you have to go through all the obstacle, obstacles and, and win it like that. That's just what it is. It's that simple. And Owens, oh, Owens better watch out here. Shelton Benjamin trying to get a pin real quick. Benjamin, oh my God, Benjamin might win this. Oh, Benjamin said, ah, uh, he kicked out. Okay. And oh, Owens there with that counter there. Owens says that's enough of that. And now Owens delivering punches and strikes here. Now Owens picking up the former world champion. And the way they saw it started was that simple. Owens came out and said, I don't have a match for the Great American Bash. It's not a big surprise. That's just how SmackDown management has treated me over my time here. Over my time here in the in the, in the SmackDown Live era of Shane McMahon and Shawn Michaels. And Owens was the former WWE champion. He walked into WrestleMania, just our second WrestleMania, walked into a, as WWE champion, took on Sami Zayn, defeated Sami Zayn. But when uh, it got into multiple men matches, Owens was not able to defeat uh, Roman Reigns. Yet, yeah, Roman Reigns uh, lost to Kevin Owens when the WWE Championship was being decided inside of an elimination chamber. So it's not that Owens can't win matches when it's, it's, it's you know, it's in multi-men. It's just when it's a matchup that Owens is on elimination style, Owens did not pick up the win. And uh, Shelton told him, hey, look, I've been in the same boat as you. I was a, a champion just like you. Defending my title against multiple men. I won my matchup. I lost my matchup in a singles matchup. And I, I, I knew I lost it. And Owen said that, well, I would have never lost my title in a singles competition or elimination style. And uh, showed some well, tell me what you can really do. Go up against a former world champion and show him what you can do. And Benjamin uh, was insulted by Owens when Owens told him, hey, you were a one-time champion. And that's all. That's, that's how many times you're going to be a champion. You're never going to reach that pinnacle again, and you should have never reached that pinnacle. But uh, Benjamin told him, "Well, I'll show you what I can do." As Benjamin just flat and out right there, just flat out, just laid out right there. And Owens going a little. Benjamin, golly. 
for both men here. Got something to prove. Owens wants to show SmackDown Live that they lost the best thing that they have. Wants to stand up and tell Shawn Michaels and Shane McMahon, you guys should have never let me go. You should have given me everything I wanted. And Benjamin is out here. He came back not only to prove that he belongs as the world champion again, but to prove that he belongs with the top of the top right now. He came back, helped out American Alpha to take on the Wyatt family. They were successful. They were able to take down the, the Wyatts. And there is no more why. It's a lot of people say Randy Orton did help out a lot, but Benjamin had that crucial matchup against Randy Orton. Right now, yelling at him. Owens is yelling at him. And Owens. Uh oh. Benjamin. The last time he was on pay per view, he was uh, unsuccessful against Jinder Mahal. But he's hoping tonight he's able to be successful. We already saw Jinder Mahal in the kickoff show, and he was unsuccessful. Against the European champion, Apollo Crews. And now here comes Owens fighting back. You know, Owens I got a chance to speak to him before the night started. And he told me, who, who let you into my locker room? Who let you even talk to me? But I'll give you some words of wisdom. I'm so happy to be leaving SmackDown Live. And to be going to ECW. Where I'm going to shock the world. Quite literally. On the next episode of ECW. Because I got something to say. And I'm going to say it out loud and shock the world there and Benjamin I had a chance to speak to me I had a chance to speak to everybody tonight earlier actually and Benjamin just wants to show the world what he can do he says win or loss is his match his mindset right now is just start proving to the world that he still got it and that he's ready for it and look at Benjamin waiting right now he's bleeding on the side of his head right now that's a mean cut right now because it's still open there here comes Benjamin Benjamin going high risk. Benjamin went for the elbow. Nothing there. Owen said, yeah, you messed up there. Now Kevin dropping him again on the back. Kevin Owens is not dumb, man. Kevin Owens is a smart man who knows how to handle his business here. As KO looking maybe for the pop-up. Oh, no, no. Ran right into it. And Owens again. These mean punches by Owens. And Benjamin. Backbreaker right there. Schultz is like, come on. Maybe I want these to work on it. And oh, oh, Shelton's like, you know what? Uh-uh. Like, he's not kicking out that easy. Like, he's not giving out that easy. And now here comes a suplex. Uh-uh. As Owens counters it. Owens counters it. Owens. Stunner! Kevin Owens with a stunner. Oh, he's picking up Benjamin again. Maybe another one to deliver it again. No, oh, he's picking him up here. Just going to drop him. As Owens telling you really want to go in this? You want to show what you can do? And oh, kick out by Benjamin. Now Benjamin. Oh, big time shot there. Oh, we went for a kick there. And that kick to the side of the head does damage. As here comes Benjamin. Shelton. High risk. Oh, look at Benjamin. Still got it. Still got it. And I, oh, Benjamin, something. I still got it, man. I still got it. Benjamin sees that Owens was able to kick out. Oh, a super kick by Owens. And a kick out by Benjamin again. Benjamin with the kick out. And now Benjamin fights back. Look at that elbow that just tacked, oh, took down Owens. Clothesline, jumping clothesline by Benjamin. And Shelton wants to do it again. Benjamin. Over the heart of KO. And a kick out again by Owens. He's not stopping the fight, man. This guy's not going to stop at all. Not going to stop. This is the, the fight he wants. And a big knee right there. And Benjamin going high risk again. I wouldn't do this. Benjamin, you can see he's tired, man. It's a long shot there, Benjamin. Don't don't take something you don't need to do, Benjamin. Shelton. Over the heart again. A KO. But didn't, he wasn't able to get back up or in time there. Super kick. Benjamin might be thinking a complete gold standard. Oh, no. Power bomb. Power bomb. Power bomb. And this took him, it took something out of him right there. Benjamin holding, waiting for it, calling it. 
he might be thinking it's time man it's time for the gold standard to shine uh uh Owens like nope Owens headbutting attacking it's KO is tossing Benjamin out of the ring and now you gotta wonder what is Kevin Owens what is this Owens uh oh no no Owens 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 no Owens no power bomb onto the hardest part of the ring god damn Oh my God! Owens is proud of that. Oh, look at this, Shelton, pop! Oh, that power bomb! Somebody better check on. Somebody better check on Shelton's back right there. Owens is looking to end careers here. And Owens talking that trash. Owens is on this is why I'm the most dominant athlete on SmackDown Live. Here comes Owens. Owens DDT's BAM lays out Benjamin. He's not done yet though. He's not done yet. Uh uh Owens is not done. But Benjamin says I'm not done yet neither. Suplex welcome to a suplex party there. Big time running knee. Benjamin feeling all of it here. Benjamin says, come on, Owens. Come on. Went for a block, but oh, got caught there. And Owens says, I caught you, man. And a kick out by Benjamin. Benjamin is watching him. He's watching him. Went for a running knee strike again. Let's go. Shelton. Benjamin. Body splatter right there. Benjamin's like, I got him. Ref, I got him. I got him. And Owens kicks out. Owens kicks out. You've got to be kidding me there. Counter there by KO. Big time close on that lays down. Shelton and KO said, I'm going high risk. Owens. Owens thinking something here. Moon salt! Nothing that sh nothing Shelton could do there. And a kick out by Benjamin. He's surviving. A big elbow there to take down Owens. Super kick. And Shelton is going where Benjamin's going to the outside. Benjamin, what are you doing? And Owen's thinking to himself, what is he thinking? And here comes Benjamin. Benjamin on the, on the rope right there. Benjamin says, I got him right there. And Owens was thinking to himself, what the hell is he doing? And and there it is, Shelton. Benjamin got him! There it is! The gold standard hits it! And a kick out by Owens. And Benjamin. I thought he had him there. Yeah, I thought he had him there too. The crowd here and, and Boston was thinking that's it. Shelton's about to walk out. Oh, countered. Wait a second. What? And look at Benjamin says, I'm good. And again lays out Kevin. And both men are down. This is the toll, man. This is the toll this match is taking on both these competitors. Benjamin picking himself up here. Countered. Owens. Owens. Wait a second. Packaging him up. Owens might be getting the ear packaged up. And a knee to the back of the brain of, of Shelton. And a kick out again. And now Owens frustrated. Unloading everything he can. On Benjamin and Benjamin now says watch this neck breaker we counter there by Owens big knee stunner 
Stunner! Stunner! And a kick out again! Owens is telling the ref you need to do your job correctly. And these two men are here to start the night off like this. Two men who have everything to prove right now. One's leaving SmackDown for ECW. Wants to show SmackDown what they are losing. The other man wants to show that he can still hang with the best of them. That he can hang with the former WWE champion. And now Owens is thinking of, a, of an Owens plunge. Yes, the plunge is hit. What a maneuver from the top. What a plunge. Oh, kick out. Oh, it's running elbow to the ground. Oh, it's unloading punches. And Shelton's had enough of that. Shelton power slamming the big man. And these two men. This is a good start. A great start for the Great American Bash. As Shelton Benjamin says, I know we got nine matches to go, but I'm not going down easily. Running knee strike. And Benjamin is getting up there, man. It, it's taking him a little bit, but he's getting up there. Benjamin, where you going, man? What are you doing? Elbow again. He's hit it multiple times. And a kick out by Owens. Super kick to the chest. And Owens is bragging a little bit too much right now. Doing a little bit too much talking there. Owens is talking in front of, of, of Benjamin's face. Gonna lay him down there. And I know where Owens goes here. Owens loves this one here because he does a swanton here. Owens, no, Owens is thinking Moonsault though. Moonsault! And nothing Benjamin could do there. Nothing he could do. And a kick out there by, uh, by Shelton again. Shelton surviving here. Shelton now. Suplex. Wait. Countered. Owens. Owens. Oh, it's got him! Stunner! Stunner! A third stunner! And Owens picks up the win with that stunner. Oh, the fight, though. The fight that, that Benjamin threw out again cannot be. Cannot be understated. The man put a hell of a fight. Gave everything he could. But three stunners is going to do work to you. Kevin Owens is leaving SmackDown with a W. And Owens is telling Shawn Michaels and Shane McMahon, look what I've done to your superstar. This is what I do. This is what you're losing. This is what ECW is gaining. The prize fighter, Kevin Owens, victorious after a brutal battle with Shelton Benjamin. What a way to start off the great American Bash. The Great American Bash continues. The Great American Bash will see the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships on the line. This is going to be the authors of Payne's first chance at the SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions when they're facing two times SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions, the Good Brothers. And a few that's just been saying... The author of the page has been running roughshod through all of SmackDown Live's tag team division. 
they're asking the question, who can stop us? Who can can beat us? And the Good Brothers said, well, we are the tag team champion. Just, just we're just throwing that out there. But we are the Good Brothers, and we're going to show you tonight that we are the best tag team in the world for show. Here we go as the AOP take on the Good Brothers. As the Good Brothers Inc. make it out here, man, it's already been a crazy night already tonight. We've already started off with a hell of a battle between Kevin Owens and Shelton Benjamin. It's only going to get even crazier in this tag team division uh, battle for the tag team championships. The Good Brothers want to prove that they are the best tag team in all of WWE. And from the rumors going on backstage, there is talks about the tag team division future for both Raw and SmackDown. And uh, apparently we'll hear more of it in the coming weeks before SummerSlam. But this uh, big news apparently that could affect every tag team. Well, it will affect every tag team in the WWE. But the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships are on the line. Up next, it's going to be it's gonna be interesting to see this matchup. A new face to SmackDown Live in the Authors of Pain definitely been running through everybody but the good brothers this uh, the tag team division of smackdown live when you think about the smackdown live tag team division and what it is it is these two gentlemen yeah they've lost the title once but they regain them quick and fast so these men know all about losing and winning titles they are one of the most decorated tag teams out there let's get this going let's see where this goes The tag team championships are on the line tonight. This is one of what seven title defenses? Six title defenses? Let's see. We've already seen the European Championship on the line. It was retained by Apollo Cruz. And look at look at Anderson with the kick right there to the back. We've all we will see the women's United States Championship on the line. We will see the women's WWE Championship on the line. We will see the WWE title on the line. Also, the Intercontinental Championship on the line. No, we got we got several matches here tonight for the championship still to come here tonight. But, but right now the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships are on the line, and the AOP definitely hoping to to win that championship right now. Carl Anderson struggling now He's with the. Whoa, whoa, never mind. Maybe I spoke too soon as Carl Anderson gets the reversal there. A tag team specialist is Anderson and and Gallows. They are one of the world renowned best tag teams in the world and what the hell is that I look like a, a body drop I'm not sure still went for a super kick there I understand hey super kick parties are parties I've been to before that was some of the best parties if you are not on the receiving end of a super kick trust me I found the, the hard way still trying to find my tooth and right now the AOP oh went for a big punch. Maybe a punch party is what we're looking for. Oh, no, those are actually scary parties. It's a punch parties. We'll stop there as this continues the tag team matchup. Right now the AOP in control. But again, the AOP, they've been in, in the NXT system. They were tag team champions there. And now they're up here on SmackDown Live. New fa new faces to SmackDown Live. But Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, they've been doing this tag team dance for a long long time not only in the wwe but out in japan out around the world these two men know how to beat every best tag team that's out there so you know the experience is on the side of the good brothers right now but the aop are hoping their brutality their strength and their and and just them dominating this matchup comes to it and remove like that on the big man doc gallows anything is possible here the Doc is in trouble right now as, look at the strength right here, BAM! The strength right there as the AOP are dominating the most powerful member of, of the Good Brothers right now. And there's a big smack to the head and now attack again. And this is, this is what's going to make the AOP successful tonight, just attacking and breaking down the big man. The big man is in trouble here. 
as the AOP are trying to get the championships off the waist of the Good Brothers. And there's a kick out there, though, by Gallows. And Carl Anderson's asking for the tag, but look at that stopping it quick there. Understands, hey, they're good. They know what they're doing, but we have to dominate tonight. And that's that's my key to the victory. That's my key to the match here. You know, other people have key to matches. I only have one key, and that's dominate the AOP because it's such an easy strategy. That's I don't know why more people don't just dominate their opponent, you know? And now Gallo's fighting back. And again, a count out here will benefit the Good Brothers. The AOP need to bring back in and stop the fight out here and bring in your opponent. But they're just fighting on the outside, and this ends by count out. Definitely good for the Good Brothers, bad for the AOP, and I don't feel like the AOP should ever get a championship matchup again because you should have never brought the Good Brothers to the outside, and now you're realizing why you guys are just rookies at this now. Doc Adams doesn't even care about the count. He's like, I'll just keep doing this move, man. Go ahead, ref count. It's not going to matter to me, man. I'll keep my title. And now the AOP finally realized you got to get your opponents inside of the ring to win this. This is a championship only changes hand by pinfall or submission. A disqualification and count out does not help out the AOP. The champion's advantage is on for the tag team champions. They were going to they were gonna exploit it. They don't care. Yeah, they're good guys, man. But at the same time, they understand, hey, we can win the match by count out. Why the hell not, man? And big time stomp down right there to Gallows. And Gallows, the big man, is getting worked on here. And, and this cannot be... Oh, oh, the big man's had enough of that. Gallows says, that's enough of that. Let's get to my guy right here. Let's get the machine gunner in this. Let's get him going. Oh, but that counter there. AOP's not stopping. Carl Anderson says, I'll make the tag in for myself, big man. These idiots realize that why do a move over here when I can just tag you in, guy. And now Carl Anderson now might be worked on here. As the AOP taking the air out of Carl Anderson there. Big smack to the back. And now Anderson, Carl Anderson says, watch this, neck breaker. And Anderson says, I'm going to do a little bit of shooting, baby. Carl Anderson is feeling it locked and loaded. Carl Anderson picking up AOP says, who says I'm not the most powerful member of this? It's the reason why they call me the machine gun, because I got guns, baby. Ooh. And Carl Anderson telling Luke, you better be careful. I'm going to I'm gonna handle the business right now. The business. And here it is. Carl Anderson working. On the, he's not making the tag. He's like, hey, I need you to rest, big man. I need you to know what's better, better for you. Carl Anderson, a lot of people say he's the mind of the operation. But, and that's what's going on right there. He's just showing, hey, look, you need some rest. You need to, you want to get back in this gallows, but you got to get some rest in this one. Let me handle this for a little bit. As Carl Anderson lining him up here. Anderson, go! Let's go, that driver there. The machine gunner telling him, this is your move. This is your time, man. Let's go. Here comes the Good Brothers. Step down. Big vote right there. Reverse of the, the rolls right there. And they see the tag trying to happen there. And Doc Gallo says, no, nah, that's not happening, big dude. These guys came ready for a war here against the AOP. And they're going to do just that. As the Good Brothers said, hey, you guys are new to this scene. But we're going to welcome you to SmackDown Live's tag team division. We're one of the best. And a kick out there, though. That's not what you want to see a one count. That After all that work there, AOP trying to get into the minds of the Good Brothers. And again, I don't think the AOP are learning their lesson. Oh, they did. They they moved the attack over there back to their corner. But look at Carl Anderson says, I'm going to work this my way. Oh, no, 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 no. That's, oh, big time clothesline. That knocks down Carl Anderson. And now the tag in the AOP feeling good. Feeling uh, like they are ready to break the tag team champions and take their titles away. And now the tagging again. And the AOP switching in and out, switching in and out, getting themselves some moves here, trying to get this win. And wait, headbutt there. And Carl Anderson is reaching for the ropes, doing whatever he can, but nothing's there for him. And now. Belly to belly suplex over the over the top belly to belly suplex. Sorry. And now with the down Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows is asked to be chomping at the bits to get into this to, to help out his team. But Carl Anderson says, "Uh, uh that experience, man. I've been through this before. I've been getting my ass beat down before, and I find a way to get to it. I find a way to get the win in this matchup." And he 
He's figuring it out here. It's Carl Anderson now. Spine Buster! Carl Anderson says, watch that Spine Buster, baby. I know you like that. Double watch it. Rewatch it. And hit me with the pin right here. Hit me with the pin. Hit me with the one, two, threes. Oh, now, come on. Carl Anderson says, I just hit him with the Spine Buster. This guy only kicks out at one. You gotta wonder what's it gonna take to take down the AOP, one of the hottest tag teams. And there's a cutter by Carl Anderson! And a two count! A two count. If there was a it was a kind of a break, he closed long gallows and then still broke up the pin. AOP surviving DDT in the middle right there. And no, Carl Anderson can't stop this tag now. And the AOP are in. Carl Anderson was feeling a little bit woozy there. And now you're going to get ran through. And the AOP might have just run through the... Oh, no. Kick out at one. I thought they would have ran through. But Carl Anderson is feeling the, the, that being ran over by a brick wall there. I know brick walls don't, don't move. But if they did, that's how it would feel, man. That's the expression of it. And the AOP going high rest. This good boy. Headbutt on the... Shoulder of Carl Anderson. Oh, that's a big guy going up real high. And he's doing it again. He's doing it again. He's flying. Oh, big splash. Oh, God. That could have destroyed Carl Anderson's insides. Anderson is down. Gallows is trying to get up. And that's it. The AOP have done it. The AOP are the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Carl Anderson's insides are, 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 are reassembled, reshambled. That was a big time splash. That, that was, can we, if we get a replay of that, that was big. But if we don't, then either way, that splash destroyed Carl Anderson. And Luke Gallows on the outside, couldn't get in. And the AOP have done it. The newest team to SmackDown Live has taken the SmackDown Tag Team Championships from the Good Brothers. Look at that. He ran him over there. Carlin's still able to kick out, but we now have no Tag Team Champions. And my God, I didn't think this was going to be the scene. The newcomers on to the, ta the tag team division or the new tag team champions. Oh, goodness. It is time for another championship matchup. So this one will feature Nikki Cross as Nikki Cross goes up against Naomi. Cross hoping to accomplish something she's never accomplished before, and that is win the Women's United States Championship. Naomi has been proud Leah holding that belt and does not want to let it go. Doesn't want to buy into the rumors that she was never meant to be a champion. And she's going to have to do it tonight. She's going to have to prove it tonight because it's not going to be an easy fight against Nikki Cross, who's been... Uh, been on a rampage who's been doing everything she can to get all the momentum on her side.
We ain't never seen anyone like Naomi. And we probably never will. But this is her chance to defend her Women's United States Championship. In the big stage, big moment. The glow is on. The shine is on. Nikki Cross is waiting. Naomi loving every minute of this. And on the one side right here, she is the challenger. This is Nikki Cross. And Nikki Cross is ready to do whatever she can to take what is around the shoulder of Naomi. The United States Women's Champion is ready to throw down here. This is gonna this is gonna be this is gonna be a big matchup for Naomi. The pressure is on her. I, I like to say this one because this is a championship defense. A lot of people, a lot of her critics have been saying she cannot, she cannot defend the title. She got it. She got it by some sort of miracle, but she's not going to keep that title for too long. And uh, hope she's hoping to shut the critics down tonight with a win here. The ref putting the title up on there. And now Nikki Cross and Naomi ready to do a battle here in Boston for the United States Championship on the Great American Bash. And Nikki Cross not pointing at her, telling her, this is your moment here. This is your time. And Naomi's like, my mom, mom, this is my championship. This is your moment to prove yourself. And there is an elbow right there, a forearm. And now a forearm from Nikki. And Nikki, like, two forearms right there. She's like, you want this moment? You want to be somebody? Nikki crossed out, pushing away. Naomi telling her, this is it. And she's like, that's what you got? And now Nikki headbutts. And headbutts are coming long and full there. As Nikki Cross doesn't care, she'll throw caution into the windshield, sacrifice her body for the greater good of winning that championship. And now Nikki Cross has Naomi where she when she wants her. Look at this, Naomi, the champion, it probably needs to just withstand this onslaught that Nikki Cross brings. She brings in a quick fury of moves and just attacks you and attacks you and attacks you until you can't no more. But Naomi needs to survive that or find a way to stop this momentum. It's like she's on Red Bull or something, just running around. Like like a little kid. And here comes Nikki Cross again. Take down of Naomi there. And back to attack here. Head buddy Naomi. And the champion right now is in trouble. The champion needs to find something because Nikki Cross is not easy to beat. And now here comes out. But look at Naomi. There you go. Her shoes lighting up and glowing. She ain't feeling no she's not feeling anything here. There you go. The champion. Going high risk, Naomi's like, I do what I need to do. Naomi's going high risk here. And Nikki Cross just didn't look at that. She wondering where the hell did she go? And then turns around and boom. A super kick all of them. Just kidding. A drop kick all the way from the top and knocks down Nikki Cross. And look at now Naomi's just telling Nikki Cross that's athletic ability there. And Nikki Cross is like, I'm not talking, I'm not doing any of that. And Naomi's uh talking trash just went south the wrong way right there. And Nikki Cross is back to just attack. She is just only, she is focused on attacking the champion and not giving the champion any moment to rest right now. As Nikki Cross back to it again. What is this? Being like, a, oh, she's just playing her face down. That, yeah, that's definitely working on the head right there. That's Nikki Cross's game plan. Attack the head. Look, look at these headbutts. How does that not hurt you? I think maybe after years and years of just giving out the headbutts like that, I guess she doesn't feel in that pain anymore, but. I know if I did it, I'd be hurting more than my opponent did. That hurts about, I feel like it hurts about equally the same. Now Nikki Cross looking to get a suplex off of Naomi there. Quick to stop it, drop kick there. The champion open, that's enough to stop the momentum of Nikki Cross. And Nikki Cross is, in champ is, is getting work now here. The work is being done in the Bronco Buster. By, by Naomi. The champion hoping anything she does right now can help her. Oh no! Nikki Cross says that's enough of that. And Nikki Cross has got her in a. Look at this! Nikki Cross turns her around. And the champ 
Yeah, what? I think we're all right now in shock. I think right now the Boston crowd is in shock. Nikki Cross just came in and destroyed the now former Women's United States Champion. And even Naomi is just thinking to herself, what just happened to me? Nikki Cross is the new Women's United States Champion. That, that was quick. That was too fast. What? What just happened? We are, we are coming off of that shocking United States Championship victory. That's the second title change tonight here at the Great American Bash. We'll, we'll catch up more on that title change on SmackDown this Tuesday. But up next, a match that can change the career of one of these two men. And a match that began for the goofiest of all reasons. But Sami Zayn said it was just mind games being played. And I played them just well. And now I got where I want Rusev at. As Sami Zayn will challenge Rusev. If Sami Zayn wins, he gets Rusev's mom's number. If Sami Zayn loses, Sami must leave Rusev's mom alone and not try to take any shots at her. And must leave the WWE. That is the biggest, the biggest challenge in this one that's the big obstacle in this one the loser leaves WWE and Sami Zayn says hey if I can't get my title shot by climbing my way to the top every every match I have I'll just challenge the other person figure out a way to challenge them and get them to leave the company that way I'm the last one standing Sami Zayn's objective now is to just be the last one standing but I don't know if he'll be standing after tonight the frustration Rusev has had against Sami Zayn it's huge. This man is not happy with what has been said about his mother. And in turn, you know, Sami Zayn was loved. The love by the fans. He still somehow is a little love. It's kind of in the middle between him. But Rusev, does I stand for, for my mother? I'm going to remove you from the WWE. And we'll let, the, uh, we'll let these two competitors deal it out with themselves. See who will be leaving WWE. Instead of a former young... European champion, but Sami Zayn said, I did something you've never been able to do. Main event of WrestleMania. I did it. I, I may have won it against Kevin Owens. I might have lost for the WWE Championship, but I still did it. And that's true. Sami Zayn did main event one of our main WrestleManias with Kevin Owens. So, you know, the crowd here, though, Chani for Rusev Day. This is a, this is definitely going to be quite the matchup coming. To you here, Rusev and Sami Zayn. Loser must leave, and Zayn might have not wanted that uh, that challenge there, as Rusev hitting him with the headbutt there. And now Sami Zayn is down and no kick out there by Sami. Sami definitely a guy I, I love watching his matches, but I also love just Rusev destroying his opposition, just destroying whoever gets in the ring with them. A man who defended that European Championship for a very long time. And a man that was almost close to becoming WWE Champion just a couple of months ago. It didn't happen, obviously, because he's not the champion, but he came very close. And now he's in this battle here with a, a loser leaving WWE mandate here. So the loser will leave it. A lot of people think of Rusev, it could be his time. A lot of people feel like this is where Rusev, we could be seeing the end of Rusev's career in the universe mode. But Sami Zayn... Says, don't don't believe the hype. Don't think that. Don't think that Rusev is leaving. Maybe I'm leaving. Maybe I actually lose this matchup and you guys lose me. And that either way would be a big loss of talent for SmackDown Live. 
Don't know why Shane or and Shawn Michaels approved the loser leaving the WWE. Don't know why these guys approved that as the stipulation, but hey. These two men have something to, to battle off of it here. And now Rusev have taken down the big guy, taken down Sami Zayn. Rusev's like, I'm not wasting any moments here. I'm going to come right after you. Rusev said he wants to be the world champion. He believes he's the most dominant man on SmackDown Live. So he was seconds away from becoming the WWE champion. That's true. But now he got uh, he got distracted with Sami Zayn, hoping that this puts an end. This puts an end to their feud. This puts an end to their matchup. But Zayn stopping away on Rusev and back to the leg there. Ooh. And Sami Zayn's going to have to do just that. Work on the legs. Work on a particular area. Just keep working at DDT again to Rusev. Sami Zayn, smart in the ring. One of the best wrestlers I've seen in a long time. But there comes big kicks there. The big kicks. And here comes... Rusev, just, oh, there you go, working on it, man, work the leg, look at this, the Machka kick said yes, and now we here, like you're down on the ground now, okay, now what's Rusev doing, remember this has, uh, this match, again, loser leaves WWE, no rules to it, you can lose weapons, you can do whatever you want, oh, he's bringing in the sledgehammer, sophomore Papa H is looking at him, he says bury him, bury him with that sledgehammer, baby, And now, oh, big shot there. Drop kick there by Sami Zayn. I will see the heart down there. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Oh. Big kick. Playing the, the CPU through this here. And now here we go. As I had, but that just just runs his head into the top turnbuckle there. Sami Zayn now says, "I'm gonna give you that six blur suplex like that." Let's see what you. His match continues right here. This is Sami Zayn hitting with the chest, just just destroying his chest there. And now Sami Zayn about to kick to the back, but Rusev says, "Uh uh, baby, that doesn't happen like that." Rusev, oh Sami, play it out. Oh my God. Oh my God. Rusev right now is on the warpath now, trying to destroy Sami Zayn. But look at Zayn. Zayn says, I'm going to stop that right there. Zayn's like, I got you here. Watch this, buddy boy. Come over here. Oh, but look at Rusev says, you haven't done enough to, to even make me phase. I still got all the power in this matchup here. And Rusev, again, look at the strength of this boy. Oh, <laughs> he makes that look so easy. So easy, but a kick out there by Sammy. And Sammy's picking himself up here. And Rusev, oh, Sammy Zane's like, let me roll up here. And Zane, back to the neck breaker, but counter there by Rusev. And Rusev back to shot, oh, back to shooting on Sammy here. And look at this, flipping him around. Take him out of the equation. And Sammy Zane rolling to the outside, a smart man to do that. Drop kick missed there, nothing for Zane, and a kick there by Rusev. I think Rusev's just gonna. It looks like Rusev's just about to dominate this one. Oh, dirty high rake by Zane. Are you kidding me? Drop kick, Sammy Zane. Come on, man. Oh, using that steel pose right there. You know, steel steps and that steel pose just had to have to attack Rusev to make him uh, more weak. Remember, there is no counter right now. This is. No rules, no, just only pinfall and submissions. That's all the referee is really here for. He's here to make sure that and, uh, that, that happens. And there's a steel chair there. But look at Rusev taking that away from Zayn real quick. And he says, hey, that's his, that's his equalizer there. That's his way of making this match fair. And Rusev, I'm gonna, I want him to dance inside the ring. I want him in this ring right here. Come on, Sammy. Come on, Sammy. Oh, no, 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 no. Rusev says, you know what? Instead, I'll just come get you. But look at Zayn counters there. And got kind of the other up. We've seen these moves. And now Rusev with the counter there. And Zayn just that's just a running just that's just a running man right there. A running Bulgarian man. Just running right at you, man. Big dude running at you. It's always a scary sight. And Zayn now dropping down. And Rusev's feeling something, man. He's feeling upset. And Zayn, this match could be over for you soon, buddy. It's gonna be the end for Sami Zayn. And now here comes Sammy stepping back into the ring, trying to kick Rusev while he's down. And a big kick to the back. 
go behind. Don't give in this man. And now Sammy Zayn back to that DDT again. Those DDTs have been crucial for him. They've been able to stop Rusev from winning in this matchup. They, oh no, Rusev. Rusev's like, uh uh, we've had enough of that. Over the head, over the, over the head, belly to belly suplex there. And now Rusev going back to the outside. No, he's getting back inside. I think he was thinking maybe a weapon, but these hands are my weapon, is what Rusev says. And Sammy picking himself up, and all oh, that chop. Oh, good night, good night. Alabama slam up. I gotta wonder now. Russo says, "You know what? We're gonna get a, we're gonna get a weapon from underneath the ring again. We're gonna get the baseball bat. Oh, he knows all about baseball bats because he's been challenging Sting and Sting and him at a, a match at Mania. But look at that draw kick all over the top like that. It comes from Sami Zayn. Russo at WrestleMania had himself a match with Sting and he took out Sting. Sting went out because uh, uh, no longer we've seen him. Maybe at Starcade we saw him competing against Russo." But he's no longer an active competitor here in the WWE because of that man right there. Take down there. Rusev working on the neck. Working on the neck of Sami Zayn. Now Rusev. He's the down Sami Zayn and the former, oh, big shot there, former North American champion. Sami Zayn is in trouble. But he was the Young Lions champion, but then we renamed that title to the North American Championship. And Sami Zayn right now is hoping. Oh, he's got a baseball bat. Says, hey, let's give you memories. But Rusev says there's no memories coming back there. But Zayn gets out of that, squeaks his way out of it, weasels his way out of it. And now, did it again. Onto Rusev's head again, and Rusev's in trouble here. He's picking up the, he's picking himself up though. And Sammy's like, ah, I'm not scared of this guy. Like Rusev Machka, Rusev, you're in trouble, man. You're in trouble. You're about to get kicked out of my WWE, my SmackDown Live Blue Thunderbomb on the baseball bat. That's awkward. It already hurts enough, and now you're landing on a baseball bat. But look at Sammy. He's like, you know what? We're gonna go for pinfall just to humiliate him, and I kick out though by Rusev. Uh oh, Rusev is up. Sammy, turn around. And Sammy finds him here. Oh, no, 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 no. We know what's about to happen, and he's in this corner. Sammy, oh, wait, what the hell? Sammy's in, thrown to the outside. Oh, he's, he's, oh, he's sizing him up. Rusev! Oh, look at that DDT! That is a diff, that's a small window right there. And Sammy Zane says, I'm able to nail it like easiness. Bam! Zane. You gotta drag in now. That's a big man you gotta drag in. And Sammy Zane's gonna have to pick him up right now. So he's trying to just gain the energy to do that right now. It's a big man you gotta lift up. And he's picking out that dead weight of Rusev. And Rusev says, that's it. Machka kick. Rusev is looking like he's about to end. Zane. Bring him in, man. Get him in for the alkaline. Bring him in. Zane, it could be dead. He's on. This is not where he wants to be. Rusev's got the bat. I think Rusev wants to make sure the back is broken. The back's going to be broken with those shots by a baseball bat. By God. And now Rusev's telling Sammy, get ready, man. Get ready to be unemployed. Get ready to go back to wearing a mask. Oh, wait a second. Pinfall? Oh, Sami Zayn's able to kick out. I think Rusev took too long there, man. That match got kicking in the shots with the baseball bat. That made it worse for Sami. And Rusev now. Oh, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is the end for Sami Zayn. Akalai is on. Sami Zayn will tap out. Will tap out to this. And there it is. Just like I predicted. Rusev is victorious. Rusev has defeated Sami Zayn. Look at that Moscow kick on the outside. That opened it up and then all those shots 
with that baseball bat. But look at this. He was still able to survive that. And he had four shots to the back with a baseball bat. And that submission comes looking for you. Nothing you can do about it. Rusev is victorious. Look at that man. He was staying going nowhere. Rusev is still is still part of the SmackDown Live. Sami Zayn, I don't know what the future holds for you, but you've been future endeavor, baby. The following contest is for the Intercontinental Championship. And... and here comes the challenger from Cameron, North Carolina. It is the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. And Jeff earned this spot here. Jeff said, hey, I'm going to earn my keeps. I'm going to do what I got to do. The Miz saying, hey, I don't defend my title after 30 years. Yeah, uh, I just defended it against Shelton Benjamin. I won my match. I won mine. But Jeff Hardy said, hey, it's perfectly fine, man. Like, I'm going to get I'm gonna get a chance at the title. Let's see what you can do. Shawn Michaels and Shane McMahon saw the opportunity to get Jeff Hardy onto the Great American Bash. and said, why the hell not put Jeff Hardy there? Man is a former WWE champion, multiple time Intercontinental champion, a multiple time tag team champion, a solidified, bona fide Hall of Famer. The charismatic enigma is here. And I can't wait. We got to cherish Jeff Hardy while we have him here, while he continues to perfect his craft, while he continues to do the craft of professional wrestling. This is Jeff Hardy's time. And the Miz is the second match of the night tonight. Will he go two for two tonight, or will he lose the one match that means the most to him here? Miz, the Intercontinental Champion. He said he has made that the most important title on SmackDown Live. That is the Workhorse Champion. He says he's not only a, a workhorse inside of the ring, he's outside of the ring, at his house, everywhere he goes. He, and he, he is the epitome of what a workhorse is. And the Miz, the Hollywood A-lister, as he prefers himself to call himself that. The Miz. It's got to be worried. On the back of his head right now, you're facing a very experienced veteran, just like Jeff Hardy. Shelton was an experienced veteran as well. Jeff Hardy, though, has been itching for singles gold for a while. It's been a long time since we've seen Jeff Hardy with the singles championship here. And if Jeff Hardy wants that. He will get it if he needs it. Here we go. The Intercontinental Championship is on the line here tonight, here in Boston. We've already seen two title changes already. Will we see the third one tonight? This is the fourth championship match of the night. We still got the SmackDown Women's Championship on the line. The Tag Team Championship for the women as well will be on the line. And the WWE Championship in our main event will be defended when Roman Reigns defends that title against EC3. But here is the most must-see champion, The Miz. Little signs in the back with A list all over it. This they are they are behind this man here. And the miss I'm the champion. I'm not losing this. I've been working hard. And Jeff says that's what it's all about. I'm going for that. Jeff is ready to give that title a facelift tonight. It's a beautiful championship, that's all I gotta say. And the A list are there is a lot of A list signs here tonight. The crowd here tonight in Boston might be Miz fans. That's going to be, that's never something I thought I'd ever say. But A-list, I see the A-list signs everywhere. And Jeff Hardy trying to get this crowd behind him. And then I said, there's no taunting tonight. 
You got to wonder in what condition is the Miz right now. In the second matchup of the night, he had one on the kickoff show. Can you give me a second? The Miz doing work right now, doing work. All right, let's go. That's Hardy delivering some shots here. Hardy trying to get this in control his way. What a way to start off the match for Jeff Hardy here. Definitely wants to be in control of the champion. The Miz, who's maybe a little wear or worse for wear right now. After being uh, in a tag team matchup against two big, powerful dudes like the Heavy Machinery. But he did have John Morrison doing most of the work. But either way, look at Jeff right now. Jeff building his momentum here. Jeff Hardy might be thinking, let's end this here. Let's go Swanton Bomb right off the bat. Jeff Hardy. Oh no, Jeff went flying high for an arm there, but nothing there. And now Jeff better watch himself. DDT there by Hardy. And Jeff now has control of the Miz, maybe slowing it down a little bit. I feel like I feel like maybe, yeah, the longer it goes, the better for Jeff. But the Miz doesn't feel like that. The Miz is going to come in with the clothesline there. And bring the match back to his his reality, his moment, his way. That's what's made him a great Intercontinental Champion. He's always found a way to win these matches. TDT by the Miz there. Big time running. Oh, he went to the Daniel Bryan running knee. And a kick out there by Jeff. Drop kick by Hardy there. Hardy finds the way back into this one. Jeff coming from the side here. Reverses where he's at in the ring. Doesn't uh, let Miz know. So Miz is thinking he's going to come from one side. But the other side now, Jeff Hardy using the space in the ring to move around here. Now Hardy bringing a knee down to the Miz there. And now Jeff Hardy might be thinking, let me get something going here. Let me put this to bed. As Hardy using the ropes here. And going to toss Miz right into the ropes there. Into that middle rope. That's all metal underneath those ropes right there. Not a pleasant experience right there when the body meets metal like that. And now Jeff again back to that move again. And it's it's worked for Jeff, so why the hell not go for it? You know, Jeff Hardy never really always controls the match. Finds a, a moment in the match to come in and step up. That's Jeff Hardy's MO. And right now we're seeing if the Miz can capitalize against that MO. This is a different stop for Jeff. As Jeff is taking control of this one, the Miz is in trouble here. Hardy now. Going to higher risk. He might be thinking of a splash time. Splash City. The flat crash and burn off. That's always been the thing about Jeff Hardy. Crash and burn is his style. And that's what happens when you crash and burn. It's going to be big. It's going to be big if you can hit it. Big payoff. But if you miss it, it definitely changes the matches. Move the matches. Momentum. Everything is, is a different style. And that's been one of the reasons Jeff Hardy has not been as, has been as successful as he should have been. That's what the Miz will tell you. The Miz is saying, my style is safe, and he gets the wins, and he gets W's. He keeps me out here every single night and day. This, this feud became a little, this feud started off pretty nasty with the things the Miz had to say about Jeff. And Jeff was like, we're not going to do that here. We're not going to talk about that right now. All that's in the past, and that's it, Miz. That's it. But now look at the Miz, the Intercontinental Champion. Off the ropes over there with that DDT. Jeff Hardy's in trouble here as the Miz... And a kick out by Jeff again. And Jeff's like, I'm going to do what I got to do, man. Drop kick by Hardy. And Jeff Hardy with a nice little splash there. Maybe Jeff's thinking, I can get him in here. I can do some work. And Jeff back to the legs here. And nah, don't do this again, Jeff. Don't, don't go up high risk. Jeff, don't do this. Jeff is going high risk, but the Miz is picking himself up. And uh, Jeff Hardy... Drop kick in the Miz down there. The Intercontinental Champion's in trouble now. But Jeff Hardy's not stopping the attack. He understands that you have to capitalize on the Miz. And again, back to that atomic ooh, atomic drop, baby. It's atomic because you know where it's hurting you, man. And Jeff hope, trying to pick him up again. I think he was thinking another atomic drop. But now the Miz, look at this. The Intercontinental Champion bringing this back to his pace. And Jeff Hardy tries to remove him there, but the Miz, like, I, just, just a dog right now, going right after 
going right after him right now and attacking Jeff Hardy while he's down. He's just kicking him right now. He's going, he's doing whatever he can. The Miz knows he's not in the most favorable spot right now, but he is attacking Jeff Hardy and not stopping. And that's exactly what you have to do as the champion. You have to keep yourself in that right there. You have to do things like this. And the Miz now counters him here. Neck breaker, and there you go. The Miz might actually have Jeff. And look at Jeff, the veteran move of Jeff Hardy to move outside. And the Miz goes flying outside with his version of high risk. And this is this is better for the Miz here to have a battle outside. This is good for me. He loses, he still keeps the title. He gets counted out here, he keeps the title here. Big boo! By the Miz. And the Miz says, I'm gonna let him get counted out. I got everything to gain here with this. And this is the way it's gonna end. Eight count. Nine count and Jeff Hardy barely back in the ring at nine. And the Miz's plan has backfired there as Jeff is back in the ring. And look at the Miz with the it kicks. The it kicks on the corner there. And the Miz still delivering more of a punishment right there. Not stopping his attack on Jeff Hardy. And tossing Jeff Hardy overboard. Jeff Hardy got tossed overboard. And look at the Miz. Says, Watch this, Jeff. On the back of his head. And the Miz says, I'll take the win like that, too. And Hardy kicks out. Hardy's like, I still got a lot left in the tank, man. Hardy's not stopping. Hardy wants to get that championship. Wants to become an Intercontinental Champion again. And there's Hardy. Doing whatever he can. Jeff, this this is far away for a swan ton. But Jeff does not give a damn. Jeff flying it on oh, the misses. Well, I've been waiting for that. Been waiting for that. That's why I got my knee pads. And the Miz has been waiting for that moment. Suplex drops down. Drops down Hardy. And I kick out by Hardy again. Hardy now drop kicks. We're gonna find whatever he can. The Miz is like, I'm reaching the ropes as fast as I can, but Hardy's like, let me help you up here. And now Miz tossing Hardy to the outside here. And Hardy says, nope. Roll up, schoolboy. Let's go. Roll up right there. A roll up. And the Miz kicks out. And Jeff Hardy is telling Miz, you're getting lucky here, buddy. And the Miz now finding a way around it, bringing shots up. And now this is exact. Whoa, bounce him off. Power bomb. And a kick out there by Hardy. And the Miz a little frustrated with that power bomb not getting the job done. And the Miz says, "Old reliable." The Miz with his, his favorite move to do right there when your opponent's on the corner like that. And that could be enough to get the win here for... And a kick out by Hardy again. Hardy's being resilient right now. Hardy understands what's on the line right now. Right now is a chance for him to say, this is my chance to be a champion again. Don't know how many more of these I'll get in my career here. And Hardy now turns him around. Jeff, a reverse atomic drop. And now Hardy, leg sweep. That's Hardy running to the corner. Hardy. Hardy's thinking, I gotta bust something here. Moonsault! Jeff Hardy still got it! Hardy, hoping that could be at the ref. Coming down for the pin. And a kick out by the Miz. And Miz with the clothesline. And the Miz is, is wanting Hardy to get up. Wants Hardy to get up. Hardy is crawling. And the Miz stalking. The Miz stalking and waiting. There it is. Go crushing finale. And a 
drop kick out by Jeff. And Miz frustrated. And Hardy drops the drop kick. And Hardy, twist of fate. As the Miz is down, Hardy says, let's go for it. Let's get it. Let's get that Intercontinental Championship. Hardy, Intercontinental Championship. Gold's coming to you, buddy. Hardy, Scotty, Swanson connected, and all Miz kicks out. And now Jeff wondering to himself, okay, he, he did that. He did just exactly what a champion should do. And now, Atomic Drop again. This time on the ropes. Hardy sees Miz on the ropes, and he's done this before to him tonight. And he's hoping to do it again. And Jeff has got him reading his maker, maybe. But Hardy's getting a little tired. You can see it, man. A little worse for wear right now. Jeff. Jeff right now is up. He's taking the time, but the Miz is picking up the pieces of the Miz here, the champion. And got oh, he got caught, Hardy. Power slam. Big time boat there. And the Miz removing the top turnbuckle. I'm not a fan of that at all. And Jeff says, neither am I. Hardy bringing everything he's got. Hardy again, another moonsault just for good measure. Maybe that could be good enough. Maybe that second moonsault of the night for Hardy. It's Hardy feeling the effects of this matchup, feeling what's going on. This is all for the Intercontinental Championship. This is all to, to be that guy, to be the man who's carrying the belt. Lineage of, uh, of of everyone who's been a Hall of Famer, who's been some of the greats. Hardy wants to hold it one more time, one last time. Hardy wants that, and Hardy's gonna go high risk here to try to try to take that opportunity here, while the Miz is down. We've seen them. We've seen Jeff in a moonsault here before. I went for that back elbow, and the Miz is it connected. It connected, and that's all that matters right now. Leg sweep. Hardy says, let me take a big jump there. And a kick out by the Miz. And Hardy is just trying to figure out how is this guy still surviving this. And again, that atomic drop, that move right there. It's what's been Jeff Hardy's bread and butter tonight. He's been using it. And it's working. It's working. And as long as it works, he'll continue using it. And the Miz leg sweeped again. But look at Hardy. His body is he's not even going the way he used to go. And he's feeling that effect right now. Counter there by the Miz. The Miz turns him around here. Miz. Go cross it for now. The second one of the night. Mizzy. Got it. He got it. The Miz waited for the right moment. He did it. The Miz is still your Intercontinental Champion. Power bomb, power bomb, power bomb. They think these guys went back and forth trying to pin, trying to do whatever they could. But at the end of the day, the Miz outlasted Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy's body started to break down. And Miz goes to show that he is still what he says he is. You can't question that when he's able to beat Hall of Famers like Jeff Hardy. Miz is successful tonight. The night has been the Miz's night too. And oh. Uh, Are we about to witness another title change tonight? We've already seen two defended very well. Two titles. 
Intercontinental Championship got to stay around the waist, and so did the European Championship. But we have new tag team champions in the men's division, and we have a new women's United States champion. Will we see a new uh, women's tag team champion here with the Riot Squad who also possess the SmackDown Women's Money in the Bank briefcase? Well, they're about to go in the ring against one of the most iconic teams out there, the tag team champions themselves. The Iconics making their way down, and, and you gotta. The betting odds, obviously, on the side of the Iconics, especially after the loss the Riot Squad suffered this past Tuesday on SmackDown. It didn't go their way. They lost to Carmella and Lana. Uh, not, not the most superior tag team, but you don't want to take away anything from them. But either way, they haven't been on the best of winning terms so you definitely got to be in the favor of, of the Iconics here in this matchup and you got to think that this team right here can be walking out with an easy win but again the Iconics better not rest on that one the Riot Squad do have Ruby Riot on the outside who will be manipulating and mastering everything she can outside to get her girls the victory here and uh, do what she's been saying it's gonna happen they're going to own the Smackdown Live division they already got the briefcase and they want to use it. Maybe tonight. Who knows? And there's the Riot Squad with Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan. They're going to hope to, to get this one here. Billy Kay and Peyton Royce who are defending their tag team championships. And that's the beautiful thing about their titles. They're Raw superstars. But they can defend it anywhere, any place. NXT, SmackDown, Raw. The challenges come from everywhere. Even NXT UK. Anywhere that wants to come out. Challenges for these two ladies, you, you can. So let's get this match started here. And I'm at night. We've still got three more huge matches to come. There we go. It's, it's going to be Liv and Peyton starting this one off. Here, Logan runs the show as that sign in the background says there. And look, there's the quick right there. of Peyton Royce not playing around tonight. She's coming in for the win here. The Iconics defending their championship. Understand that this is a big uh, defense for them. It's their big, uh, big chance to prove what they can do as the champions, and they don't want to squander this opportunity here tonight against the Riot Squad. And these suplexes here coming in quick, and I like that. That's how you're going to beat down the Riot Squad. You gotta, you gotta do things like that. And they've already seen a tag team championship change tonight. You, you can't let that happen again. It's been a, a night where you don't know what's going to happen, what tiles are going to change, what tiles are going to stay in hand. And look at Billy K <laughs> jumping to the top right there. That's that. Some athletic ability and uh oh Billy, you better not do that. Cause Liv Morgan will hit you with the head scissors there. Liv Morgan wants to prove uh, to Ruby Rye that hey, it wasn't me who spawned her the opportunity. It was you know, we failed as a team, but I you know, I did everything I could to get us a win that's this past Tuesday. And look at Liv Morgan. A lot of people believe she is the untapped potential of this group, that she will be the breakout star of this squad here. Now the tag in to Sarah Logan. But here comes Logan, and let's see what she's able to do. I'm going to grab the knee there. That's smarts right there. That is smarts by Logan. Here comes Logan taking down Billy K with that clothesline. The Riot Squad want to show where they where they stand. This is a big night for me. You know, you've been talking all this and that. Wow, you guys are going to change everything are you guys going to change the the landscape of smackdown live well this is your chance to prove it tonight you guys did get the briefcase sarah logan did get the briefcase you also had Liv morgan in that matchup and it didn't go well for Liv because she didn't win obviously but they said they won as a team one of them won they all won they've been also threatening becky lynch saying hey after the match you're gonna have to face two two on it's a two on one tonight even though it's not really it's a triple threat matchup they say, hey, you're going to be tired, you're going to be worn out, and then boom. I don't think that's how you, you, you announce your Money in the Bank briefcase unless you're actually cashing it in. But hey, that's just something there. And now Billy Kay trying to get the momentum back on her team. Sia on Liv Morgan says, no, we're going to get you a face plant for all your trouble there. 
And the Riot Squad back to the tag team game. I love this. Look at this. Billy K is, is needing to make a tag right now. And back to the knee. The iconic one. And Sarah Logan selling Peyton Royce. That's your tag team partner. Come on, step up. And using the ropes there for anything that she can. And oh, went for the jump up headbutt there. As Peyton trying to get the tag in from Billy. And a code breaker there by Sarah Logan. And she went after pa she went after Peyton there. And Peyton's like, nothing's gonna happen there. But look at Billy. Billy, luck sweeping it. And Sarah Logan picking herself up, but here comes Peyton. Peyton Royce bulldogging Sarah Logan. They're the tag team championships that are on the line. The Riot Squad in trouble. The Iconics putting it all together here. Arm drag right there. And Peyton says, let me take a The big time splash is there. The splash. The splash is there. Sarah Logan's down on the ground right now. And Logan headbutts Peyton Royce there. Trying to survive her way through it. And look at Logan's speed there. And now Logan's like, uh-uh. Like, this is my championship to win. It's my moment to prove it. I don't think she has much to prove. She is the one that won the Money in the Bank briefcase for her team. But Ruby Riot puts that pressure on her on her team. Ruby Riot wants to be successful. She wants to win. You know, but she hasn't really done much of that, that back work right there. But she understands that's what a great leader does. Commands it and does all this. A great delegator. And right now, Logan... Northern Light Suplex onto Billy, onto Payton, sorry. And Payton's in trouble here, but the kick out there saves her now. She's saving herself in this matchup here. But Logan right now with the hard hits, the hard attacks, and not stopping, man. She's not going to stop one damn bit. And she's a corner, Payton, and big time knees. And big time knees striking again. She is striking with the knees here. As Liv Morgan looking on the other side and Peyton Royce right now. Now, now they're in trouble here. This is not where you want to be if you're the Iconics. As Liv Morgan steps back there. Liv Morgan now. Face planting Peyton right there. He's telling the crowd here in Boston. This is what your tag team champions do. As Peyton's trying to get the tag into Billy. Liv's like no. That's not happening. Look at Liv using that move right there to get the hand uh, over. And this is a chance to get the win here. And a kick out though by Peyton. Peyton's still surviving here. Doing whatever she can to keep herself in this matchup. But she's right behind Liv. And now striking. Striking with her forearm. Striking with whatever she can here to get herself back into this matchup. As the iconic Peyton Royce is doing a backstretch right there using the ropes. That's smart right there. That's how you take advantage of your surroundings there. Tag team championships are on the line. Peyton Royce. Oh, wait. Counter. Counter. Countered by Liv. And Liv again with this head scissors here. She's finding her way around here. And look at Peyton. Peyton's trying to reach to, to, to Billy. And there's Logan to say no. That's not happening. Looked on the outside. Ruby Riot telling him, hey, keep her away. Big time kick. Big time kick to the, 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 the stomach of Peyton Royce. And again, that's a bigger time kick to the face of Peyton Royce. Northern Light Suplex again. And the ref is distracted by what's going on here. That he lost count of the of the count. And Logan now got a neck breaker here onto pay onto Billy K. Peyton Royce. It's not not getting up. Billy K's down. Sarah Logan not stressing at all about the maneuvers that this team does. And there's a suplex there. A fisherman suplex. Hook in the leg. And a kick out by Peyton. One half of the tag team champion she is. 
She's showing you why she is is keeping this. This has been their life dream to in the WWE. This has been their life dream to be champions and, and to be champions together. That's a bigger dream. The fact that the tag team championships came up when they were there around. They know it's been destined to be. And Liv Morgan is going to take her chance. It's going to go high risk. This could be enough to end Peyton. A big splash. And a kick out by Peyton Royce. She's surviving now. And Peyton Royce went for a big kick there. Taking down Liv. And she knows she's got to make that tag in now to Billy. But Liv Morgan says nope. Liv has got the submission that color silence. No, no, this is a different. Liv's got a better life here for Liv. Oh, Liv was trying to get that one. Billy K said no. And Liv Morgan saying that's what you're going to do? Watch this. Snap right into the ring here. And Liv Morgan is attacking Billy K here. Liv taking down Billy. And Sarah's telling Liv, you better look her behind you. Like you better pay attention right now because you got somebody right behind you. Who's I like sweep. Peyton Roy says, I'm here. I'm here to do what I gotta do. Spear! A spear by Peyton. And Peyton's feeling in charge. And Peyton's feeling this right now. Peyton might be thinking, I'm, I'm ready to put this one to bed. A big time iconic roundhouse kick. And the Iconics now step into it. Step into place here. The Iconic ones looking to put this one to bed. A big time power slam. And Billy K says, nope, nothing's going to happen there for you. Takes down Liv. And split leg. Who oh, what a split leg. And Billy's like, count it. Count it. And Logan breaks it up. Logan takes down the referee in that one. And Billy Kay just took down Sarah Logan. But right behind you is Liv. And Liv is, is picking herself up here. And, and Miss uh, Billy, you might want to pay attention here. Now. A knee to the back of the neck. And there's Peyton. I'll save it. Peyton's like, I'm here. I'm here for you. I'm here to save you. And Liv frustrated right now. The attacking Peyton Royce. Like sweep now again. Liv Morgan has just been distracted all night here. And now, now look at Billy. Billy dropping her on her head right there. Kicking the dirt away there. It's Billy K says, I'm taking this one for the team. And there's Logan to break it up. Logan makes the save for her team. The riot squad still in there, still alive and still surviving. Take down. And Billy was doing the crying motion towards Sarah to Liv Morgan. Oh, you're gonna cry, huh? This is all you got. You got nothing left in this one. Headbutt there, and Billy K. Is laughing at this one here. This this is definitely what you need to do right now is get that pin, girl. And Billy K is saying that's it for that one. We're done here. And now Logan steps up into the play. Uh oh. Billy they go well. Shoo it. And Sarah Logan now comes in here. And now the Riot Squad needs this is their last big momentum shot here. They better put it down. They better end this one here. And butts to Billy K. And removing Peyton out of the equation. Sarah Logan not paying attention to what's behind you right now is Billy Kay. Big time kick. That kick, that iconic kick. And a kick out by Logan. Head blood in it. It is down to these two ladies right now. It looks like both their partners are out. 
out for commission. It is down to Logan. It is down to K. Who will bring it for their team? Who will keep their team alive here? Headbutts. Headbutting Billy K there. And Billy with the counter there. And now I think Billy got the tag in to, to Payton. And now Payton. Payton Royce might be looking for the three amigos. She's able to connect with all these three. It's game. Game three amigos. Oh, but the rope break is there to save Sarah Logan. Drop kick. Logan now sees the moment. And suddenly Billy K, watch this. Watch what's about to happen to your partner right now. She's done. Logan. Oh, Logan got the knee to the face of Peyton Royce and says, I'm going to do that. I'm watching you while you come in, Billy. You can't do anything about it. Your title's done. Oh, a kick out there by Peyton. Oh, kick to the midsection. Smart. And now, whoa, whoa look at Peyton. What is Peyton doing here to, to live? What is this? Look at this hold. It's like a tarantula, but reverse. Trying to break it here, Logan. And big time kick. That removes her off the spot here. And now backdrop onto Peyton Royce. And a kick out by Peyton. Clothesline that knocks down Sarah Logan. And Liv. Liv stops the attack there. And Liv wants in. Liv wants in this matchup in the worst way. And Ruby's telling Logan, get up. Peyton doesn't even know what's going on. She's just standing woozy there. And Logan. Logan. Find herself up. And now Peyton removes one. And Peyton with a the kick there. And Ruby was like, what did you do? You should have tagged in. And now the iconic Peyton Royce. They've got Sarah Logan down and out. This, this could be it. The iconics are talking right now. Game planning. What is the next move? What is the next thing you're going to do here? That's the pick up. Logan and now a suplex suplex coming but Logan Logan gets out of this Logan backdrop again make the tag man get the tag in Sarah Logan getting the tag into Liv Morgan and Liv has got the submission on Peyton Peyton could tap here. This could be the tap. And there's Billy to make the save. Billy made the save there. And now Liv. Liv trying to plant Peyton. Peyton says nope. Peyton's like make the tag in. Make the tag in to, Lo to Logan. And Logan now says let me get back in this. You want to end this? You want this? And look at that Peyton blowing her the kiss of death. And Sarah Logan says uh uh. Ain't going to be none of that tonight. Big time kick that lays down Peyton. And now Logan. Open a knockout. Open a knockout. Billy and she did. But now Peyton from behind. Big time knee to the back. And now removing Liv. And Ruby's like oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Peyton Royce. Is putting it all together here. They come again. Let's see if the rope break will save Sarah Logan again. Three amigos. The rope break saves Logan again. And Peyton Royce's frustration is mounting. This is for the tag team championship. The women's tag team titles are on the line. And here come the Iconics again. The everything. Everything they can do here. But Sarah Logan. 
Oh, went for a shoulder block. Nothing there. As Billy kicks her while she's down. And removing Liv again out of the equation. Payton, uh, sorry, Billy with a neck breaker. But look at Logan rolling to the outside. And, pay, and Billy's like, go ahead, count her out. She can get counted out. That's all I care about. We won't even with the count out. And a big time running knee. The running knee could have done just that and knocked out Billy, but Billy kicks out. As Sarah Logan might be on the verge of ending this one. No, Billy. I dropped her head there. And Billy Kay removes Liv Morgan out the equation. And Billy waiting. Billy's waiting for the right moment. Logan picking up. Doesn't know what just happened. And a big time kick. Good night. Iconic kick. The Iconics are keeping their belts. What a match. The Iconics retain their women's tag team championships and they they went through war they went through a battle on night against the riot squad Sarah Logan receiving the pen Ruby riot thinking to herself what is going on with my squad what is going on with this team what is going on but the Iconics just go to show why they know they are the most not only entertaining team but most dominant tag team in the WWE match where our commissioner Shane McMahon is hoping he's hoping that that he could beat some sense and beat some respect into Samoa Joe here tonight Joe has been running his mouth about how he ran out John Cena out of the company how Cena's gone all because of Samoa Joe And Joe is just ready. Told Shane, I, what I do to you this Sunday, what I do to you tonight, it's not my responsibility. Go, You can't go crying to daddy. And Shane says, I'm ready, man. You ready? And look at Joe starting off quick here. Joe, wait a second. Joe turns around. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. 
Cocaine, co no, 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 cocaine, the clutch is on. Joe, Joe's got it on, on Shane. But look at Shane trying to fight out of it real quick. Find a way around it, Shane McMahon. Shane doing whatever he can. Wait, what is Shane doing here? What is this? Shane McMahon, power bombs. Joe. Shane O'Mac dropping the elbow. Shane's got a little bit of peace of some old Joe right now. Dropping these love arms. And what is Shane doing? Shane is dropping kicks here. What is Shane doing here? Shane. Joe. Oh, no. Wait a Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Shane O'Mac. Shane McMahon. Coast to coast. Shane said, after I'm throwing everything in here. Shane McMahon. Just hit the coast to coast, but look at Joe. Joe is back. Joe don't play around, just as that's all you got. That coast to coast, that's all you got to wake me up. It's going to suck for you when you're going to wake up here. Now Joe picking up the pieces of Shane McMahon. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, muscle buster. And Joe, I don't, I don't think, I think Joe knows he, this match is done, but he wants to beat Shane McMahon down a little bit more. And look at Joe, he is planning into Shane here. And look at Joe telling him, come on, get up. Like, come on. This is what Shane wanted. Shane wanted to fight though. Remember that Shane wanted to fight with Joe and Joe told him, to stay away from this. So the referee, this is your fault. You could stop this all right now. Shane wanted to fight with Joe. And Joe now. Look at this. Just slapping him around. Man. Joe is going to put him out of his misery whenever he wants to now. Joe, son, that's all you got, huh? He's like, that's all you got, huh, Shane? Suplex time, but look at Shane. Shane back to it again. And that McMahon blood in him that does not allow him to stop fighting. Shane going high risk, and I don't think Joe even knows what's going on here. Drop kick that knocks down Joe. Shane probably feeling something here. Now what's Shane doing here? Shane with the camel clutch. No, no, just gonna stomp on him on top of like that. And Joe. And Shane kicking the top of the head of Joe. Look at Shane trying to make this into a wrestling match. Shane, don't make this into a wrestling match. You don't want to do that. This is not your time. You just need to put, I don't know, get a weapon. Do something, Shane. They can't count you out. You're the commissioner. You overuse your power in this situation. It's a life or death situation here, man. Joe's about to kill you if you don't get up and get something going. And look at Shane trying to do everything he can to keep Joe down. And now the submission by Shane McMahon. A triangle hold on, on Samoa Joe. But Joe says, yeah, that's not enough, buddy. Oh, look at Joe just picking him up and stopping him down. Just like, you might have choked me a little bit there. I'm going to give you that. Oh, no, 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 no. Not a turnbuckle power bomb. No, 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 no. This is how injuries happen. Oh, come on. And Joe says, this is what you guys all are. If this is who you want to... This is John Cena right here. This is exactly what I did to him a couple months ago. Stomping him down. By God. Joe does not stop. Joe, you're a noggy. Come on. And Joe's telling this isn't all this is all you got, huh? Well, watch this. 
the muscle buster. And Joe's like, oh, he's enjoying this too much. That's the one thing about Joe. He's enjoying this situation too much right now. Getting to put down your boss like this and putting him out of his misery. By God, Joe's got Shane. Joe's got Shane and Shane's tapping. And Joe feels like that. That's what felt right there. That fell right there. Joe. We, we knew this was going to happen. We knew Joe was going to put down Shane. He could have. He was toying around with him too. That's the thing. He could have ended this a long time ago. But he wanted to make him tap. He wanted to make him feel some pain. And let him know who the hell Samoa Joe is. And Joe, oh, come on. Shane, you should have stayed down. Joe's not done with this onslaught here. This is enough, man. Shane, I don't think Shane will know what the hell's going on here, but Shane's getting beat down, and no one's here to stop this. And there it is! Coquina clutch again! And Shane's just tapping instantly, man. Samoa Joe is just a goddamn monster right now. And Joe, wait, wait a second. Wait a second, Joe. It's John Cena. John Cena's here. Cena doing everything he does. Cena's here. And Joe saying, I ain't afraid of you, man. He's like, I ain't afraid of you. And Joe's going to meet him out there. And here comes Cena. And here we go. Cena. Cena and Joe. But Joe, oh, there goes Cena. Cena and Joe. There we go. We haven't seen John Cena since Over the Limit, the SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view. And here comes Cena fighting back into it. And now Cena. There's a Joe now. Joe. Oh my god, wait a second, wait a second. Joe, 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 no power bomb. Oh no, no, no. Joe's got him right here telling him this is what happens to people like you. And Cena! Cena's got Joe! Oh, there's an attitude adjustment! But Cena says, uh, -uh. we ain't done here yet. Another one! Cena's putting the. He's letting him know this is what happens. And John Cena's back! Oh, yeah! And they're going here. They're going here. They are fighting on the outside. I am. I am loving this. Cena! He was like, uh-uh. Like, I came back. I came back ready for a fight, Joe. And Joe being tossed in the ring as Cena is in the ring now with Samoa Joe. We haven't seen Cena in a while. The reason John Cena was out was apparently, according to Samoa Joe, him. Even though Shane McMahon says that's not the case. John Cena's doing some things. Preparing for life. And now Joe turns it around here. And Joe has got Cena with the buckle bomb here. That's how he put down Shane. And Joe's walking away from this. Joe's running, leaving this ring. And Cena. He was like, come on, man. You can't run away. And Joe's like, I'll do whatever I want. And now Cena, though. Cena's chasing here. Cena's chasing Joe. And Joe doesn't realize this, but here, here we go again. These two not stopping their fight. Not one damn bit, Cena. Oh my god. These two are fighting. No one's out here to stop this. This is, I'm pretty sure Shane's like, let them fight, man. Shawn Michaels, like, let them fight. Let him feel what he gets for attacking Shane McMahon. And Cena hoping to stand tall here. 
Knocking down Joe. And Joe trying to find anywhere he can to run away. And Joe's running back into the ring. And Joe's been doing a lot of talking. And Cena's like, you're really going back in the ring? You must be dumb. And Joe. Joe's got a chair. And Joe's in the middle of the ring with a chair. He's telling Cena, step in my ring. Cena, come on. Like, step in the ring. I got a chair, baby. And Cena's like, I don't care if you got a chair. I'm going to give you this one punch here. And Cena. Doing whatever he can right now. Cena's doing the best right now. Cena's taking it to Joe. He's like, I've been waiting a long time to do this. And John Cena's back. You can't see him. Five knuckle shuffle on the deck, Joe. Bam. And the crowd here in Boston. And the Boston kid getting cheered by his folks here. And John Cena has just laid out Samoa Joe. And John Cena has returned to the WWE. Has returned tonight back in his home state. Back in front of the Boston crowd. John Cena is back and he wants more of Joe. Joe's gone. Joe just rolled out off the ring and left. But Cena will celebrate that he is back on SmackDown Live. And Joe has made it, Joe's gone, but Cena's made it clear he wants Samoa Joe. Here we go. It is time for the SmackDown Women's Championship to be defended in a triple threat matchup. And Sonya Deville making her way down to the ring. And, and this is definitely her night. She believes tonight is her moment. She believes this is her chance to prove to the world that she is a true champion. That she is, that she is ready to... To, to become champion, even if she becomes co-champion. Her and Mandy Rose said so that's the goal tonight. The goal is to stay on the same page, become co-champions, and, and reign, uh, have a reign of terror on SmackDown Live. So we'll see if uh, they stick to it again. Human beings only want to be one champion. You know, that's why we have so many co-popes, a co-president. It's always great ideas like that. I don't know if how long it will last, how long this partnership, obviously they are tag team partners, but how long it will last when the SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line. Mandy Rose making her way down.
I'm sorry, I had to pick my, my mouth off the ground. Uh, Mandy Rose is in the ring, and here comes the, the woman who's been saying carrying. She says she's been carrying the SmackDown Live division. It is the man, Becky Lynch. The man is here. And Becky Lynn says, hey, I'm not looking past these two because I know I have to still defend my championship and get the W. But I know these two dopes are going to hurt. They're going to hurt their friendship. And they're going to turn on each other. And that moment comes in. That's when I swoop in. And, and you got to be thinking in the back of your head, for either one of these three women, if you win this matchup, you could be soon hearing that music of the Riot Squad. They have the Money in the Bank briefcase to cash in that championship opportunity. It can happen tonight. So you definitely have to have that in the back of your head. And Becky says, let's go. Everybody wants to go? Come on. And there's Sonya with a kick. Quick to take down Becky Lynch. And Sonya Deville bringing the champ down and knee strikes there. Knee strikes. And now Sonya and Mandy are already imploding. That was quick. A knee to the back. But look at that quick. Sees Becky come into the ring and suplexes Becky right there. And Sonya Deville is looking sharp right now as she is delivering big shots to the champion right now. But again, this is a uh, marathon, not a race. But Sony Deville right now so far impressing. And right now it's uh, Sonya and Mandy right now. And Sonya's like, hey, this I know we're gonna be co-champions, but right now I gotta do my part. And here comes Becky. The champ now. Ooh, dodging that one. The champ takes down there. Sonya Deville down the ground. And here comes Becky. The little leg drop. Oh, Becky's not stopping. Becky's like, let's show you what I got. Becky understands this is going to be the hot start right, the hot start right now for Sonya Deville. So you got to take that out. You got to take her out of her, her, her spot right now. Is Mandy Rose watching. And Becky's going high risk. And look at Mandy there. Mandy says, I'll still save my partner. And arm drag off the top rope. Oh, Becky Lynch now suffering right there. And, and right now, Mandy Rose has got the leg sweep right there. And Becky trying to roll to the outside. And now it's Mandy and Sonya in the ring here. Fire and desire. They understand, hey, we're gonna get it, we're gonna get a little bit of a fight here. And look at Mandy's trying to end it here. Flat. And there you go. Mandy Rose can't believe that uh, Sonya didn't. Oh, no, no, counter there. Here now, Sonya says, hey, focus on that. But Mandy Rose is like, nope. And Sonya right now has got the arm now of Mandy Rose. And she's taking it lightly. That's one thing she's doing. She's taking it light. But Sonya Deville, quick to suplex the champion. And Becky Lynch, whenever she gets back up and tries again, there's Sonya Deville says, hey, I'm going to stop you from getting any momentum. The champion's in trouble here. There's a diehard Mandy Rose in the fan on the left over there. That's that's nice to see. It's Becky right now watching uh, from the corner. And she's not, I don't think she's at 100% right now, but Sonya Deville again has been very impressive tonight. But Becky Lynn says, let me end that impressive streak here tonight. And there goes Sonya outside of the ring. And now Becky picks up Mandy. And there's Becky. Lynch going for a head top. This is from the top right there. Becky Lynch has got this one. And a two count. Mandy Rose surviving for now. But look at Sonya with the 
Oh, double A, spine buster. Mandy Rose says, let me get the pin here. And Sonya's like, no, that's my work. And here we go. This is this is what I'm talking about. A flatliner right there. On to Sonya Deville. And Mandy Rose now. Oh, look. What is she? Mandy Rose says, I want the title. And this is the neck. Oh, on the back of the neck. Just that's all Mandy's weight coming down on the back of the neck of Sonya. But here we go, the, the tag, the, this tag team here of Fire and Desire now virtually imploding. And look at Sonya. Thought she had her there, but Becky's there to stop that. And Becky Lynch now says, hey, that's fine. Oh, and DeVille just says, that's not going to hurt me. She found a way to get out of that. And Becky the champ now. Now Becky Lynch says, watch this DDT. Becky Lynch lays out Sonya Deville with that DDT. And the champ standing tall right now over Mandy Rose. She's talking. This is this is bravado there. Oh, counter. Now Mandy Rose going for the rules. That's 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 gold, baby. That's rose gold. Oh, and a takedown of Becky Lynch, Mandy, and Sonya. Look at this. This is double teaming the champ. The champ is is is. Their title virtually could change hands. But now it's Sonya and Mandy. And if I'm one of the uh, two, if you're gonna be co-champions, pin the other one. Just pin it. Ain't you two I mean, close? She's been looking. To becoming the champion in, in so many in so many ways, she is definitely impressing tonight. Definitely showing where she belongs at the top of the conversation on the SmackDown Live Women's Division. But Mandy Rose is trying not to be forgotten in this matchup, and there's the big kick again by Sonya. And Sonya right now is just looking untouchable here, and this is definitely. Oh, look at this. The kicks went to the wrong location. And Becky Lynn says, well, the kicks went to the wrong location. I'll take advantage of it. The champs is the champ is, is playing it smart. Elbow of the heart of Mandy jumped over the body of Sonya. But look at Mandy coming back. She's finding her way up here. Big time kick. And Becky said, I'm going to roll to the outside. And Sonya got the leg sweep by Mandy. The SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line here. And there's a takedown by Sonya. So Becky's picking herself up here. Look at Sonya trying to make Mandy tap out. But Mandy says that's not happening here tonight. And again, Becky with the back suplex again. But Sonya picks herself up. And Becky with the running kick. Becky's had enough of that. Becky's had enough of Sonya Deville thinking she runs this show. And a shot to the back here. And Mandy's watching all this. Hey, she's smart about it. Look at this suplex. Laying out Sonya Deville. And Becky's telling Mandy, it's just you and me now in this ring drop kick. And I don't think Mandy wants to be in the ring alone with Becky Lynch here. Back to the arm again. And Mandy picks herself up real quick. And here comes a submission by Mandy. But look at Becky. Becky taking down Mandy. And there's a takedown by Sonya. And now it's Mandy and Sonya while Becky is down the ground. Mandy Rose with a power slam right there. And now here comes the pinfall. And Becky makes the save. And as Becky's watching these two friends. And now Becky says, watch this. Bexploder suplex. And now Becky. Oh, no, Mandy says, oh, you should have never taken that extra time. You should have just applied your submission. You should have just applied it and gone with it. 
Becky got a neck a backbreaker. And here comes Mandy. Mandy's trying to beat this. Mandy's trying to become the champion. Big time knee, nothing there. Becky Lynch now. Oh, Sonya Deville starts to get in that one. So Becky is going to drop Mandy on her back. And now Sonya says flatliner. Has a flatliner there. And look at Sonya right now working the champion. The champion's down right now. If I'm Sonya, I'm, I'm ready to apply my submission. I'm ready to put Becky Lynch out here. And here comes some shots, and she is pounding away now and, and, and attacking with, look at those forearms to Becky Lynch. She is trying to beat her down. And now firing is, it's definitely not going to be a good night for Becky. She's definitely going to get dominated by Oscar, and Oscar's going to walk out of that building at a Barclays with the championship. And Becky with the elbow to the heart of Sonya. And a two count there. Sonya kicks out again. I think Becky Lynch is, is realizing, hey, I got to put it all together eventually. Drop kick that lays out Sonya. And back to the arm again. Hey, Becky's smart about what she needs to do. She knows she needs to get the arm. She knows she needs to make that arm weak so she can make that submission happen. So she can get the disarmor and it works for her. Becky with the drop kick there onto, onto Mandy Rose. And Becky right now is putting both of them on check now. You might have just turned on that, that next gear in the champion. And look at that slap by Mandy Rose. And Becky Lynch now back to the arm again. She's working on it. She's, she's understanding the long game right now for her is to get that arm out. And she's got both members of Fire and Desire down on the ground right now. What's Becky doing here? Becky back to the arm. And Becky says, watch this. Whoop! Backsploder suplex! And Mandy's pick, being picked up here. That's Becky Lynch now. Putting down. Putting down Mandy. That's it. This is going to be it. This is going to be it. This is going to be it. Becky's trying to make her tap. But Mandy finds a way around it. Mandy, though, holding on to her arm. And Becky right now smells the blood in the water. And Becky's tossing Sonya Deville out the ring. And know that Mandy right now is the weakest one in the ring. If you're going to put somebody down, you put down Mandy. Becky Lynch is, is, is pulling into overdrive now. And here comes Becky. High risk. Time. Becky out of the heart of Mandy. And the pinfall there. Mandy Rose is down. But Sonya makes the save. And Sonya Deville is picking up Mandy. I think she's seeing, hey, you're the weakest one. I'm going to go after you. And there it is. Now Sonya has got a submission on Mandy. But there's Becky. Becky's like, yeah, that's not happening. Not with my title on the line. I think Becky needed a little bit of a break there. And Becky Lynch now sees that Sonya Deville's the one that's in the ring now. And now Becky might turn it on. This is what makes her the champion. When she has it going on all gears. One of the most untouchable stars in the WWE. And Becky with a big shot there. Becky dropping a knee to the face. And there's Mandy Rose. Not going to allow any more anything else to happen here. And Becky Lynch says, hey, this is what you guys wanted. You guys want this opportunity? You got it. Big time drop kick that lays out Mandy Rose. And now Becky, Bexploder. Bexploder on, 
on Sonya, but that's taking a lot out of Becky Lynch. As you can see, she's feeling it right now. And Mandy's the only one that's up. And Becky says, I'm going to go for the pin. Referee drops. And Mandy makes the save. Well, Becky Lynch right now is probably feeling the wear and tear of just going at 100 uh, miles per, per second. And now Becky says, you're done. Becky's got her again. Becky's got the ball. Oh, come on. The ref said there's a rope break. There's a rope break. I didn't see no damn rope break, ref. I didn't see no damn rope break. Now Mandy Rose might be putting Sonya Deville down. Sonya, good night. But look who's behind you. Mandy, the champ. The champ says, go ahead, pin her. I'm going to break that up, dummy. It's like, don't be a dope. And she gets rid of Mandy out of the ring. Good night, Mandy. You're gone. Now Sonya is the last one left in the ring with the champ. And the champ picking up Sonya. The man has got her in a, a, a high risk position. High reward. This is definitely going to be a good chance to put her out. Becky picking her up. This is what they call the super blocks from the top, bro. Becky Lynch going for a pinfall, a superplex to end the man. No, Sonya said no. Sonya finding something within her though to survive. And Becky with a kick to the midsection. Becky again, and here it comes. Sonya Deville who's feeling some sort of magic in the air. Mandy's got a chair. And Mandy said, I don't want to use this chair on you, but I think we need to use it on Becky. And now Sonya taking down Mandy. And now Mandy's able to dodge that. And Becky says, I got a chair. I ain't afraid of a chair. And look at that rope break. That, that, that was a true rope break. As Mandy tries to get up, Becky is on lower end with the chair shot. Says, hey, y'all, you two wanted this? You two wanted chairs in this? You got it involved. Becky sets up. Bexploder. And Sonya on the outside. Becky now looking at the right moment, the right opportunity. And there it is. Bexploder. I mean, the, they're off. The disarmor was on. And now it's Sonya. And it's Becky. Becky now. I'm going to drop you on your back again. And Becky Lynch. Sonya Deville survived. And now she's on the outside. And Becky's got the chair. Becky letting it go right there. Becky let Sonya have a piece of that. And now Mandy in the one corner. Sonia in the other corner. What is Becky Lynch playing on doing here? Becky's going to use Sonia as a weapon. And <laughs> Both of them are down. That, that was not bad at all by the man. And Becky Lynch is saying, I, I didn't want it to go this far, but here we are. And this is the right moment, I feel, for the Riot Squad to come out. These ladies have been through a lot. Back to the arm again. And she's keeping Sonya out of the ring, which is smart because Sonya Deville has been has been one of the has been one of the big surprises in this matchup or performance tonight. And Becky says, I want you in this one. It's like, come on. Becky's got the better of Sonya. But Sonya with the counter. Sonya with the big kick. Sonya, double like spine buster. And now Sonya says, I'm gonna carry you. I'm going to get this. And Becky says, no. I can't let you have that one. This, it's my, this is my championship. Mandy's picking herself up. Becky's picking up. Somebody's about to go down here. Big time kick. The champion is down. Mandy says, I want that time. Wow. Wow. Spear. Spear. But look at Sonya. And Becky says, yeah, that's not happening here.
Becky with an elbow. Becky now says, you guys got me pissed off now. And Becky Lynch is feeling the magic. And Becky, while trying to go for the back splitter, but there with Sonya Deville. And Becky Lynch says, that's me now. Becky worked on the arm. And there goes Becky, high risk. She's done this elbow at the top. But now she sees that Mandy's in the ring. And now Mandy catches her power bomb on the champion. And the champion is down. Mandy Rose seeking the opportunity to toss the champion out. But Mandy's going after the champion out here. What a match this has been. These chops here. As Mandy tossing Becky back into the ring. Sonya's out. Tony could have been champion, but Mandy was like, no, I want to be the champion. So their co-champion idea is nothing but, a, but nothing but a fake. Nothing but false. And now they're bowed down in fire and desire in the middle of the ring. Big boot by Mandy. Big boot. And Mandy Rose is lining up Sonya. Something. Go, Mandy! Becky can't make... Oh, and Sonya kicked out! Sonya kicked out! You must be kidding me! And Becky's unloading here on Mandy with those leg drops. And this Becky has got it. Backsploder. Backsploder on Mandy Rose. And again, a disarmer. And that's the tap out that she needed. And Mandy Rose is tapping. And Becky says, I just made your friend tap out. You want some? And Sonya just can't believe it. But what a match this was for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Look at these Beck Explorers. It, 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 was a t it was a different tale. Becky at first was just taking it in easy gear, just watching it. But then Sonya was dominating. Sonya took care of business. And it looked like Sonya was about to walk out with a championship. And then Becky realized, holy crap, if I don't turn it up, this is going to end up with me losing my championship. And that's what champions do. They're able to adapt to situations, turn it on to a different gear that no one else can get. And once Becky turned it to that gear, that gear, Becky Lynch, was untouchable and unstoppable. And now this is where Becky needs to be with her guard up. Because this is where the Riot Squad could strike. They could strike soon. I'm watching, Becky. I'm, wa I'm right here. I'm watching. They come out here. I got you. You come over here. We got this. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. But Becky Lynch is still a SmackDown champion. The woman SmackDown champion for now. We're waiting. The crowd here is waiting. Becky's trying to see if, if the Riot Squad come out. Hold on. It's Asuka. The Empress is here. Riot Squad still, you gotta watch out with them. As Becky Lynch, what what does Asuka want out here? We know Asuka's gonna take on the SmackDown Women's Champion at SummerSlam. And Becky Lynch and Asuka staring down at each other. They are staring into each other's eyes, letting each other know SummerSlam is a night 
And look at Asuka. Asuka telling her, you're not ready for Asuka. Becky's like, you're not ready for the man. And Becky Lynn says, you and me. You and me. I can't wait for this. Becky and Asuka for the SmackDown Women's Championship at SummerSlam. The man that tells you to control your narrative, control what people see, can get in the head of your opponent. Says he's been doing everything correctly. He's given the false image to Roman Reigns that EC3 has just been partying and what and just just gonna take this easy. EC3 told him, "Hey, look, what I did was make you believe that you're gonna get a different opponent. You're gonna get someone who's a slacker. Uh -uh. I've been watching Roman ever since I won. I knew who I was gonna go for." I knew who the man that I was going to take the championship away was going to be. And it's you, the big dog. It's you, the head of the table. It's you, Roman Reigns. And EC3, this is the biggest match of his WWE career. The biggest match in his career. This is for the championship. This is for a chance to dethrone the man who says he is the face of WWE in Roman Reigns. And where EC3 won this opportunity by winning the King of the Ring tournament. By defeating Andrade in the finale of the King of the Three. EC3, this is it. SmackDown Live, the land of opportunity. And EC3 is personifying that statement in the main event of the Great American Bash. And Roman is headed into a battle here. Roman's telling EC3, this is it's more than just a championship. This title is more than just having the title. This is this title means you are the main event or you are the headliner. You are the one that is putting people people's asses on the seat. You're putting money in the pocket of your locker room, of the cameraman, of the announcers, of everyone. This championship means more than you'll ever know, EC3. And Roman says you're not that EC3 can't handle that pressure. That EC3 will never know that pressure of being the champion. And Roman says he's gonna do him a favor tonight. The favor is gonna be never giving him that much stress in his life, not having him deal with that burden of being the WWE champion. He says it's it's more than just the main event spotlight that you get it's more than the big paycheck you're going to be receiving it's more than that and, and Roman Roman's going to get to prove that tonight he's been proving that as the champion but this is it man if you win this you know you're going to SummerSlam to face the winner of the Money in the Bank briefcase who said hey I'm going to use it I'm going to use my Smackdown Live briefcase I'm going to use it at SummerSlam the Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle is watching this in the back it is time it is ready. Let's get this going. EC3, the king of the ring, says after the night that moniker drops and he becomes WWE champion. And here's the guy. Here's the man. This is Roman Reigns. 
our WWE Champion. The winner of this man has a date with Kurt Angle in Kurt Angle's last ever match. And what's already been a hell of a night tonight. Will Roman retain? Will EC3 shock the world tonight? And control his narrative as the WWE Champion. Let's get this man. Let's get this match going. And Roman selling EC3. This is your moment here. Breathe it in. Take it in. This is it. The feel out process will happen here. And Roman says, you don't get the main event spotlight much, do you, kid? And here we go. Roman already quick to a game. And just throws EC3 like nothing. Roman's like, you don't know the pain. Oh, here comes EC3, though, with the elbows. EC3 with kicks and punches. Kicks and punches are going to be what he hopes. And Roman's like, that's it. Roman taking down EC3. Those punches didn't do a little work on Roman, but now Roman delivering those punches to EC3. And now EC3 counters at EC3 now. Says, I got to get the momentum. I got to get everything I can. EC3 using the... Look at this. Look at EC3A. He says, this is more than just muscles. I know how to work what I got, man. EC3 says, this is years and years of pent up aggression being fired. Being told that this is not what you do best. Said, nah. EC3... It is fueled on the fact that this is his second run here. This chance to prove that he belongs. Because he's had powers that be hold him down. And Roman telling him that's supposed to hurt me, man. Come on. And EC3 doing whatever he can right now. To get the better suplex. And Roman coming out with the running clothesline. And that's what makes the champion ever so dangerous. And there's an elbow right there. EC3 says, you're not taunting in front of me. And Roman says, you're not talking in front of me. Here's a dirty shade of headbutt to you. EC3 picking himself up. And Roman said, hey, I don't need to attack you like you attacked me. I can take my time here tonight with you, man. Here we go back again. And Roman again, quick to it. And Roman planning EC3 there. The champion. And oh, EC3 thinking he had something there. And EC3 brought back into it again. And Roman's like, take, I'm going to take my time, man. I don't need to do anything here. The pressure's on you, EC3. I've already said my piece here. Would you like to admit it or not, there is a lot of pressure on EC3 tonight to perform. This is his first ever main event spotlight here for the WWE Championship. And EC3 has been just running at him right here. EC3 taking down Roman. EC3 seems like he's against the clock or something. He's, he's, the way he's the way he's attacking and the way he's using his offense, he's, he's, trying to, he's trying to rush this. And Roman says, I'm going to go the opposite way. I'm not going to rush this. This is not something I need to rush. My title is staying with me. And Roman... Again, shooting shots here at the king at the king of the ring and Roman removing EC3 out of the equation. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, wait a second! The champ says, "I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna fly." He's like, "This is this is the pressures of being a champion, man. I don't think you can handle it." And what the hell? What the hell is our truth doing out here? Our truth, Roman. And I don't know what the hell he's doing here. Our truth is trying to help out EC3. 
And I, hey, I'll take it. I think, I think our truth says, hey, you don't, you're not the only reason we're getting paychecks here. You're not the main reason. You're not the guy that brings another. Fans are the ones that get us here. And Roman right now is in trouble because he's in three. And what the hell is going on here? He's from NXT. That is Jackson Riker. And Roman says, we all have surprises, don't we, baby? And Roman is sizing up EC3. No, no, no. EC3's in trouble. EC3 oh, countered with a, he countered with a spear. Roman is in trouble, the one percenter. Roman. And a kick out by Roman though. And EC3. EC3 says all these people coming out, man. And Roman. Oh, Roman says none of that, man. And now Roman Reigns says, watch this. That's when I use speed. Roman is showing them there's different levels to it. And now Roman's got enough of that, enough of this. Roman looking for it. Oh, this is going to end bad Superman punch. And Roman is telling him, this is it. This is what you wanted, EC3. He's like, this is what you wanted, man. And Roman now laying down EC3. Oh, no, 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 no. Roman thinking drive by. Drive by. And Roman's just not at Roman's not had enough of this. Roman's on EC3. This is this is what you needed, right? This is what you were talking about. Controlling the narrative, huh? It's like, come on, EC3. He could have pinned him too. But EC3 is crawling. Pegging himself up and rowing right now, selling on the day. There's different spots, different levels to where Roman knocks out EC3 again. And Roman Reigns says, Come on. Come on, EC3. Come on. And EC3. It you're seeing that this is a different this is a different competitor. This is a this is a face of the WWE competitor. EC3's been doing whatever he can tonight to save himself. Here comes a big boat. No, countered. EC3. Russian like sweep. And Roman's trying to reach to the outside, but uh, EC3 says, I gotta stop that. EC3 doing everything he can. Bouncing him off right there. Oh, Roman's pissed. And Roman bringing down EC3 who in high risk. Not usually a spot that EC3 likes to go. And Roman now. Roman says, hey, I've done this enough to know how to beat people like you. And Roman again this time. Oh, cocking it up. Here it comes, man. Here it comes. You're not getting out of this EC3. Superman punch. And he's picking him up here. Roman. Roman was like, this is you. Wobbling and waving. Oh, there it is. Spear by Roman Reigns. And EC3 kicks out. EC3 says, I got something. And Roman's a little surprised. He's looking surprised. Roman. Said, I didn't think he'd kick out of my first one. Okay. And throwing EC3 across the ring. And Roman just wants EC3 to know who the bigger batter man is in this one. And again, EC3. Roman telling him, I'm big, man. I'm the big dog. And EC3 says, you're the big dog. I'm the one percenter. Watch this. Backbreaker. As Roman now. EC3 seen Roman picking himself up. I think he's at, hey, if you're going to slow it down, I'll slow it down too, I guess. That's the way to keep myself in this. 
I think EC3 was a little excited to start the matchup. And now EC3 says, let me get you here. Wow. Let's go. Right in the middle of the ring. Can he get the champion? And a kick out by Roman. EC3 right now. Is picking up. Dropping a knee to the back of the head. And EC3 says, come on, people. I need you guys. I need you in this one. This is... Oh, look at... Oh, he fly light. He lays out Roman. And look at this cocky pin. Oh, and a kick out by Roman. But that was a cocky pin. And Roman Reigns says, uh, uh hold up. And EC3 says, I'm ready, man. He's like, this is the face that's going to take that title away. There is a there is a count on Roman stepping back into the ring. And all oh, Roman said, I got you. I got you, man. I got you exactly where I want you. And the ref says, hey, hey, step away from him, man. Ref's checking on EC3. Oh, he's checking on him. I don't know if EC3 is good right now. Roman says, I don't care if he's good. And Roman again. Tossing EC3 to the side. Outside Roman. Go. Oh, come on. Roman's like, this guy, this guy, you're looking at him? You're concerned about him? And Roman says, you're concerned about him? You're concerned about him? No spare through the freaking barricade. Roman says he's at a five count ref. Roman. So that's how you do it. That's how you do it. And now EC3 though. Back in the ring. He is not giving up the fight. He is trying to fight whatever he can. And Roman. Oh, lays out EC3. Ref, you got to stop this, man. EC3 is not going to stop fighting. Oh, that. These are little. These are punches that are, are bringing EC3 to his knees here. And EC3 says, I got something left, man. And EC3 tosses Roman to the outside. EC3 is trying to regain something. He's trying to. Trying to heal himself up. I don't know how he'll do that. Taking a breather right now because he knows that Roman Reigns. He knows he can't win the match by count. He knows that for sure. EC3 says, I'm going to go high risk. I'm going to fly here. I'm going to take this chance. EC3. He went flying and I love it. And EC3 says, I've got him where I want him, ref. I got him where I want him now. And the Roman. Oh, no. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, Superman punch. Oh, no, no, no. Roman. Roman. Don't turn around, EC3. Don't turn around. Spear. And that's a dominant spear. Roman. Roman doesn't even care. Roman's like, that's me, baby. You fell every... You fell all of that, EC3. That's enough, man. This, That's enough. EC3's done. And he's just throwing him now across the ring. And Roman Reigns. He's, he, we had it won already with that second spear. Now I think he just wants to send a message to whoever thinks that they can dethrone the head of the table. And Roman's got the superplex here because, yeah, that's what you need to do. A superplex off the top rope. And the ref says, let me check on EC3, man. This, Let me check on him. He's like, are you okay? EC3 might be injured, man. And look at Roman. says, I don't care about his health. If he dies, he dies. That's That's his concern here. I'm Shane and Shawn Michaels right now. 
I'm out here. I'm out here ready to just call this man. Call this match over. Roman's not. Roman's just. Roman's just saying, hey, I'm going to mess you up, man. Whatever way I want to do is, however I want to do it, that's what we're doing here. And Roman says. It's time. Oh, Roman's going to put him out here. This is it. This is it. This is it. That's a spear. And Roman is just standing over now. EC3. And the ref is, the ref is screaming to Roman, just pin it, man. It's over. EC3. EC3 gave a fight. But at the end of the day, Roman Reigns showing you why he's the WWE Champion. The ref had to check on him on EC3 twice. Had to make sure EC3 was okay. And Roman, each time after that, Roman started attacking. Look at that spear through the barricade. Roman had this one won like, uh, like five minutes ago. But Roman just wants to send a message to his locker room. And a message to Kurt Angle. This is the man that's going to put you out. This is the man that's going to end your career, Kurt. And the big dog is still WWE Champion. And Roman. Oh, come on, Roman. Roman seeing the down EC3. C3 bleeding on the side of his head. And the ref can't do nothing about this, man. The ref is just watching this. And East and Roman something. This is the closest you'll be to the championship. Oh! God damn it, man. Roman knocking out EC3. And Roman and EC3. He's just trying to figure out what the hell's going on here. He's being assaulted here. By the big dog, by the head of the table, Roman Reigns. That's just, this has just been disgusting, Roman. God damn it! Wait a second, here's Kurt Angle. Angle says he's had enough of this. Angle says, "Ah, oh, enough of the beatdown." Kurt Angle with an Olympic slam, and Kurt picking up Roman again. And Kurt says, oh, I've had enough of this, man. I've had enough of you. Roman Reigns, welcome to your future. And Kurt Angle just laid out the WWE Champion, told him, I'm ready, baby. I'm here to stop your reign of terror. I'm here to end you being the head of the table. Angle reigns at SummerSlam. WWE Championship. Kurt Angle's last match. This is the Great American Bash. Your boy, Rookie. Good night.